Hello and welcome. I'm Nico and I'll be playing Democracy Free and trying to turn the United States into a liberal utopia with free drugs and free love and free housing and I'm going to see if I can do it without being assassinated. So here we have the United States and we've got the various statistics here in front of you. You've got uh, 316 and change million people, a whopping great nearly 9 million square kilometers of land, life expectancy of 78 and change years, and um, yeah, the Gini inequality index is, you know, quite high in actual fact, that's more comparable with South America than it is with, say, Europe or Japan. Very high income per capita. Poverty is quite low at 16%. Ethnicity is mostly white, nearly 80%, mostly Christian. Obesity rate quite high at 30.6. And Big Mac index of <laughs> $4.2. Okay, right, and beef can be a mighty beef consumption of 50 <laughs> 57.4 um, pounds per person. Right, that is quite a lot. Now, you see here, we're going to shift this over to, uh, let's see, what can we have, a uh, liberal, liberal coalition, and we're going to be against the Republicans, I imagine. Now, you have a term limit of two in America, which is as you'd expect, and you've got a term length for four years. Now, we're not going to uh, pretend it's in a time of war or anything and try and extend our term limits out, even if we are trying to uh, play very much against the American zeitgeist. Okay, what we're going to do is have the usual mix of sliders for America. These are just the default ones, so I'm not going to change them. Obviously, no monarchy, no compulsory voting, but you do get earthquakes and you do get hurricanes. Difficulty is average there. Political apathy, it's at 58%. Innate socialism, 100%, which means there isn't really a bias either way, but I think there is a slight bias towards socialism in the game itself. And the same with liberalism. Right, okay, let's go and play this game then. Okay, here we come. Right, welcome to your new job as president. Yes, and here we have the various different things which are around. Gives you a little overview of the sort of situation. Health is quite low, education quite high, poverty reasonably high, crime very high. Unemployment high-ish and GDP is middling. Right, okay. All these red buttons are bad things happening, and the one green one is good things happening. I think I'll look at the good thing. That's technological advantage. And basically it feeds in. If I hold my mouse over that, you can see what it's affecting. Various things are pushing this up. Evolution versus uh, creationism there. Because both systems are being taught. There's a slight increase to the technological advantage, and the space program also drives that. Technology feeds into it. The speed of these arrows is how much each one affects the other. So technology is the main driver here, and it basically increases GDP and productivity. Right, now we've got a whole load of bad things happening. So up here in the welfare box, you can see homelessness, which is driven off the things you'd expect. It's driven by immigration, poverty, unemployment and property taxes and contributes to crime and various things take away from it like unemployment benefit and pri And if we had state housing that would take away from it. Pollution, it's driven off bad stuff happening to the environment basically. Skill shortage, driven off immigration and education. Technology also feeds into that and it affects GDP. Now you've got asthma, driven off the environment, and car usage. You've got drug addiction, which relates to your narcotics uh, policy, how well you fund your police service and health service. It negatively affects health and increases crime. Now we've got internet crime here, which is an organised crime issue, so your intelligence services can combat that, and it affects GDP and basically irritates everyone. Now you've got alcohol abuse, which is driven off what you would think it is driven off. So alcohol consumption being the main one, poverty, unemployment and crime also feeding into it. Police and various things like community policing, which you can bring in. You can bring in additional ones to what's on the board here to affect it. 
Okay, we've got vigilante mobs, which sounds like completely not fun at all. And the death penalty and the police will seem to affect that. Crime is a huge driver to that, so drop crime and that should drop away fairly quickly. We've got antisocial behaviour, which is affected by alcohol consumption and crime. So a lot of these law and order issues are kind of interconnected. You deal with the underlying crime and it should start to go down. And same with skill shortage, which is affecting GDP. If we can deal with some of our educational complaints, we should be able to uh, deal with that. Okay. We're going to go after some of these law and order issues, though, first. We're going to try... We can't bring in... I don't think we can have... Yeah, we can have community policing. I think I'll bring that in and fund that really well, since that will impact on crime and violent crime and racial tension and antisocial alcohol abuse, and it also is the Liberals are in favour of it, so we'll go for that. So community policing comes in. And maybe a race, race discrimination act as well. That would take down racial tension a lot. Right, racial tension is reasonably high, so we're bringing that down in the first turn as well. Okay. Debt Protection Law Debt collection agencies have been in the news lately because of the aggressive methods they're using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. So I have to choose um, whether I limit their activity or allow the agencies to operate. So that would basically either annoy capitalists or please the poor. So I'm going to I'm going to forbid them from doing so. Right. Okay, Liberals are starting to like me, as are ethnic minorities. Okay. And how is crime doing? It would take a little while for this to have an effect. And the same goes antisocial behaviour. That started to dip. We are going to... do that. Religious membership will start to drop off. But it will help our Liberals start to push them up. Because of course you can affect how many people in each group are being created, so you can gradually reduce groups which uh, don't form part of your constituency. Right, we've got to choose an UN ambassador. Now we can choose a hawk or we can choose a dove. So, I think we're going to choose a dove in this case. That sounds good. Might improve tourism if we don't have bad stuff about us in the international press. Okay, what are we going to do here? I think we are going to increase funding to state schools, wherever they are. There they are. Right, so we push that up. And we are also going to bring in... Oh, we don't have quite enough things, but we do have enough for a junk food tax. No one will like it, but tough. Dunk. There we go. It will improve health. And slightly increase our income. Right. Credit rating is downgraded. Uh, down to double B. So that's not very good. So what can we do here with our political capital? And I can't believe no one is trying to impeach me at this point. We're going to put in an alcohol tax because that is lucrative for 100 billion. Well, 101 billion actually. Yeah, the poor will not like it, but it will smash alcohol consumption. And that will probably take away alcohol abuse. I have to do something nice for the poor in a little bit. And GM foods. Well, we do quite like... Yes, we'll go for them. And I have to do something nice for the poor, poor, so we're going to bring in free school meals for everyone. Okay, right, we've got a slight surplus even after that. We've got a general strike, fantastic, but no antisocial behaviour. Right, okay. Maybe we can give them like free bus passes or something to get them off our back. Uh, free bus passes. 
Right, increased bus usage. And we're going to criminalise child labour. We should get that general strike off our backs. Yeah, well, no, in actual fact, unfortunately. Uh, vigilante mobs are out, and so is alcohol abuse, but unfortunately... And this is really unfortunate, the huge deficit we're running up. Okay, how do we get rid of that? It looks like it's going to disappear soon, so uh, that's a relief. Okay, right. Let's see what's happening to the religious. Right, their numbers are gradually going down. Maybe we can bring in stem cell research and really annoy them. Ah, not quite yet. Right, okay, general strike is now at an end. Our credit rating's been downgraded, but at least we've got high productivity coming in. Excellent. So, that is a definite improvement, and skill shortage. How can we drive our technology a little bit higher? It's energy efficiency, that's technology. Right. Education. How's education doing? Okay, let's see if we can drive that up a little bit. Right, at this point we're so deeply in debt that I'm not quite sure we'll ever be able to climb our way out. We're going to block that law because we really don't want to annoy capitalists anymore. I'd rather not get shot. Yay, and our credit rating goes up as the markets go down. And somehow we've got a surplus. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but uh, I assume it's something to do with high productivity. So, uh, yes, okay, that's quite strange. But now I think it is time to legalise prostitution. Right. Yes. Everyone and anyone. <laughs> right. Yes, let's frack. Let's frack like crazy. After all those prostitutes, maybe we don't need to frap anymore. Right, okay. Internet crime has gone down slightly. Asthma epidemics kind of gone down a little bit, probably connected with an increase in science. Uh, right, popularity is okay. Liberals are liking me, and their membership is going up. Let's see what's, what's annoying them. Death penalty, hangar intelligence services, prisoner tagging, food stamp, let's see, homelessness. Yeah, maybe we can tackle homelessness now. Oh, bizarrely, our deficit has kind of gone back up again. Uh, right. But, at least, let's see, that's health. Health is really good. Okay. We'll bring in some recycling, I think. Just a few. Let's see if we can run this down a little bit. Our credit rating's gone down again. The deficit is not quite as big as it was. Just click through that again. The deficit is shrinking gradually, so our GDP is jumping around like a crazy, crazy thing due to all those strikes and whatnot. Education is still not where I need it to be. Right. Hmm. Adult education subsidies, I might go for that. Let's try and increase education by any means. And whaling. No, let's not go for whaling. Let's keep the ban in place, I think. Okay, what are we going to do next? We've still got that deficit, unfortunately. And the skill shortage is still there. Gradually going down. 
adult education scheme is going to start whittling away at it. And university grants, let's do that. Let's hope that that has a bit of an effect on it as well. We're going to, yeah, we'll legalise drugs in our second term, I think. Software patents. Yeah, we're going to stifle stuff, man. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Okay, school shortage looks like it's going to go away soon. Just click through that turn. And we've got a Nobel Prize, so everyone's happy. Both for liberals and for gun toking toting patriots. Right, okay. Message. Right, okay, she doesn't like how I've been doing things. Right. Uh, she isn't too too unhappy yet. She probably isn't going to poison my breakfast cereal in the Oval Office. Okay, right. How do we deal with this then? Probably want to legalise all drugs and then tax them. Right, legalise all drugs. Boom! Yes, we're going to be tax free for now. <laughs> yes, everyone take drugs now. Yes, that's how I'm going to win. You see, all of those non voters, everyone else is high. <laughs> yes, obviously, Republicans just took more drugs and that's why they lost. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay, and school shortage is gone. Torture deportation. No, no, let's keep him here. Excellent. Right, drug addiction is going up, of course, but uh, let's bring in recreational drugs tax. Yeah, let's totally push that to the max there. Legal drugs consumption. Right, excellent. Yes, we can make some money out of that. Right, we've got slight surplus now. And let's see, we've got that, let's see, winter fuel subsidy. Let's see, that will give a huge benefit to retired. Okay, let's give them that. It's a small little bone, but you know, they're old and whatnot, so uh, our credit rating's going up now. We've got a whacking great surplus. Obviously, everyone's on speed, so. Uh, they are doing really well for themselves, so just click through that turn, and religious condemnation. Well, yeah, not really that surprising. Okay, religious. Well, their membership is going down and down and down. Yeah, their happiness is going down and down and down as well. <laughs> Environmentally, oh, they really hate me. Oh dear, yes, we need to do something about that before they start taking pot shots at me. Let's have a look at like threat assessments. Right, we've got various sort of different groups here. Uh, let's see, shall we do something like clean energy subsidies? Right, let's do that. That might help somewhat, keep me away from being hate, absolutely hated. Uh, let's see, what can we do? We've got a huge surplus. Let's bring our debt down a little bit first before we start doing more stuff. Religious plot. Credit ratings being upgraded. Now double B. Okay. Oops. Yeah, let's not go into those stats. Crusaders of the Lord. Uh, oh, right. Security effectiveness. Uh, let's see. Wiretapping, internet censorship. Maybe I should, like, just a tiny bit of wiretapping. Oh, the Liberals really hate it with judicial order. Right, we'll do that. The Liberals will not like that, but let's see, drug addiction. Right, that's <laughs> gone up to a, a ridiculous level. 
Right, okay, that's Maripovinic. Yeah, people like that. See, their numbers are falling deadly. Right, no. Oh, we can't do any stem cell youth club subsidies. Right, let's do that to keep them away from all the drugs which are everywhere. Internet tracking. Yeah, allow tracking. It might help us keep track of those religious nut bars. Okay, right. They're coming down. Excellent. I've nearly, nearly got them down to an irrelevant level. But my effectiveness is quite low. Unfortunately, they look like they're going to plan to assassinate me. Let's see if I implemented that. No, that's ridiculously unpopular. Maybe I should give my intelligence services like a way more. Insufficient political capital. I'm going to get assassinated, I just know it. Oh dear. Right. Credit rating is now A. Excellent. Fortunately, I've got liberals and environmental people. Yeah. Well, no. Religious people and environmental people really don't like me. Right, liberal should love me. I've given them like everything. Right, limited circumstances. Right. Okay, what can I do here? I can give stem cell research. Right. They're gradually dropping down. Right. On demand. God, they hate that. <laughs> be amazingly. Ooh, I think actually let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. I think we uh, wait a little while on implementing that sort of thing. But maybe we should bring in some housing, state housing. Get rid of that homelessness problem. So, see, religious plot, that really doesn't look good. Yeah, let's have a Freedom Act, that'll help bolster me with the Liberals. Right, that will go away soon. Legal drug consumption. Uh, right, okay. Asmeric epidemic. Wow. Right. Micro generation grants might be a good way of uh, proving my popularity with at least the environmentalists. Right. Okay, they're dropping down and down and down. This plot, homelessness, the situation is now at an end. Excellent, the debt is falling as well. That is really good. Yeah, totally, totally go liberal. I think there might be a tiny bit of a bias in here. I'm not entirely sure I agree with the drug addiction thing, that you legalise all drugs and therefore everyone be on them. Not entirely sure that would work out. Um, Portugal tried that approach and it seems to have uh, worked rather well for them. It seems if you educate people and tell them what a stupid idea it is, they don't go for it. So I'm not entirely sure I agree with that, but I disagree more strongly with the economic modelling in the game and also the fact that, like, I've completely changed the national character of America. It's now illegal to talk about intelligent design and all that. I mean, the chances of you being able to pull that off and have like religious membership collapse down to like below eight percent in like halfway through, or probably about like eighteen months into the second term of the presidency, is just bonkers. Right. Let's see if I can cure asthma. Right. Uh, 
let's see, maybe we can, if we, let's see, if we go for foreign investor tax breaks, right, we don't have much in the way of other problems, right, so how can I improve the environment? Clean energy subsidies. Hybrid cars. Right, we're given like a load for that. Car tax. Oh, we can push that up slightly, can we? To medium. Okay, that will help bring down our deficit even quicker. Okay, right. Terrorists captured. Excellent people like that sort of thing. Okay, our surplus is whopping. We're going to probably clear our debt in the first term, assuming we're not shot in the face by a fundamentalist Christian. Right, okay, religious membership is down to like below 5%. It's so bonkers. <laughs> Communist Russia didn't manage that in 70 years. I mean, <laughs> yes. Thanks for the advice. Okay, new situation. Okay, let's push trains to the max. Yeah, and a, and a monorail, why not? Uh, oh, we can't do that. Okay, let's just have telecommuting then. Totally have a monorail in a minute. Okay, let's see. What can we do here? Trade union socialist. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Can we do anything else? No, not much at the moment. We're kind of a bit short on political capital. Okay, let's see. What can we do? Thanks for the advice. Okay, how, let's see. Housing expansion. Yeah, let's relax the planning laws. Let's you know, have... Yeah, we seemingly don't have too many problems at the moment. That's going down. That would, like, disappear in a second. Internet crime is just ticking along there. Asthma epidemic is going down. Oh, we've got to have monorail. I cannot have a socialist utopia without a monorail. Come on, come on. Yes, a monorail. We are going to go for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to start setting the ground for uh, my inevitable sort of hubristic madness uh, at the end of the game where I would be preparing to, be, to declare myself God Emperor of America. So we're going to go for a little bit of internet censorship, just a tiny bit. Now, people won't like this, but it will hopefully knock internet crime on the head. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Must be something which, child, oh, child benefit would probably work in my favor. Just plot. Toxic waste scum. No, we're not having that. Okay, let's go for yeah, disability. Oh no, child, child provision, child benefit. With oh, unfortunately, I don't have enough political capital. How about childcare provision? That'd be nice. I'll give them just a little bit. Actually, shall we go for disability? Oh dear, that might have. I used that without realising it. Okay, religious plot again. So, no, no, allow marriages, totally, because liberals will love that. Okay, right. Yeah, liberals still aren't crazy about me, despite the fact, like, yes, totally turned it into a liberal utopia. Look at that, huge numbers. Right, okay, need to bolster their, uh... right, okay, private prisons, oh yeah, let's cancel that, liberals dislike it as well, I cancelled that, did I put in police drones, that's not what I wanted, right, okay, that should please the liberals now, a whole bunch of stuff has been got rid of, okay, and I've nearly got America into a surplus. Right, okay. That is quite mental. 
is it possible? Probably two turns. I've just about have completely eliminated the debt by that point. Haven't cured asthma, and everyone's addicted to drugs, and the air's quite foul. Probably all that ganja floating around in the air. Okay, but you know, I'm wildly popular, so who, whatever. <laughs> Right, okay, can we put pollution controls in? Right, it would negatively affect GDP. So if we pushed that right up to the top and then gave like foreign investor tax breaks to like a load. Oh, the patriots will hate that. Oh well, never mind. Uh, they get plenty of other stuff. Right, welfare for department. Right, middle income would like it. Right, I get a tiny bit of income as well. Okay, right, let's see, religious plot, thank you for your advice. Right, allow database, yeah. Preparing for my inevitable. Let's see, how do we deal with that? Cyber warfare. Okay, right. So we're being attacked by the Chinese. Hmm. Right, maybe if we improve our foreign relations quite a bit. go for child benefit? No, we can't go for child benefit, unfortunately. Environmentalists are starting to like things. Uh, there's hardly a religious person left in America. And this looks like the final turn. Yep. Yep, my cunning plan to make everyone addicted to drugs, apart from my, my people. Excellent. Retire in glory. Let's have a look at the breakdown. Yeah, religious people hate me, but there aren't any of them left. So, yeah. Awesome. Let's see. Here's a list of the changes you've made to your country. So, health has gone up enormously, as is education, crimes fallen, violent crimes stay the same. Poverty has gone down a little bit. Equality has gone up quite a lot. The environment is massively improved, technology slightly improved, but it was good already. Productivity's gone up, unemployment's down, CO2's down, car usage is down, rail and bus usage has gone up. Productivity's gone up a lot, unemployment's gone down, CO2's gone down, air travel's gone up, immigration's gone up, energy efficiency's gone up. Racial tension's gone down, foreign relations have gone up, international trade's gone down. I'm not quite sure how that works. Must be, uh, we're importing less and making more. Right, okay, oil demand's gone down because we're super efficient. Oil supply's gone down, but it didn't really matter all that much. Oil price went down. Poor earnings went up a lot, middle earnings went up a lot, and high earnings went down. Right, GDP overall went up colossally, so even high earnings would still be uh, benefiting quite a bit from that. Private health care went up. Private housing went down because I put all of that state housing in. Private schools went down. P private pensions went up. Tobacco usage went up for some bizarre reason. Despite that, I taxed it like crazy. Alcohol consumption dropped off a cliff. And so did traffic congestion. Uh, tourism went down for some strange reason. Despite the fact I legalised drugs and everyone seemingly was on them. Or at least 52% of the population were definitely inhaling. Right. Currency strength went up 18% and wages overall went up 1.26%. Yes, I retire in glory. Okay, well that was Democracy Free. I think it's quite a good game. There's a lot of different mods out there, some of which make it a tiny bit more uh, sensible in its modelling of the economy and political attitudes. But uh, yeah, it's fun. You can turn England into uh, a V for Vendetta type crazy place where there is no arts funding and you can be killed for stealing a ham sandwich. So, uh, Or France, where they 
turn communist or legalise everything including machine guns. You can do whatever you like. I think it's got US, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, France and yes, I think that's it. But uh, it's very, very good. I, I like it. It's got its flaws but there's always a mod for changing it around if you really disagree with part of its modelling. So overall I'd say it's a very, very good game. If you'd like me to do another series of this or try and do something crazy with America again, uh, why not leave a comment? That'd be awesome. Or if you subscribe to the show, I hope you come again. And why not like us in the links below? Or if you're all new to the, to the show, why not subscribe to us? Okay, that's Nico, and I hope to see you again.